people said in that house are doing. So this is a pretty serious video to talk about. Uh, this bit I'm talking to you about. Um, and I'm just going to say this straight to you, especially young men, um, and even men in the in the late um in the later years we call it that. Um, to talk, to talk tomorrow, uh, this week, um, going in from Monday to Friday, um, including Father's Day is Men's Health Week. Um, and you know, with young, with young men, you know, they don't talk about the things. You know, I'm, um, a bit different. I talk openly about what I'm thinking about. I'm, I know how I feel inside of me. Um, and I'm saying to people, like the old way, you know, when I was growing up, you were told to get up and get on with it, but that's not the case anymore. You don't get up and get on with it anymore. Um, people have feelings, people have emotions, and that does affect people. Um, and I'm saying to people, the best medicine, the best medicine that be, uh, could get, ever be given to anybody is to talk to people. And I say that to young men and to you, you know, young men in their early teens um, and going into later years. Don't be afraid to talk. Um, unfortunately, you know, there has been a few suicides um, around Ireland involving you know, men in their 30s. Um, that's heartbreaking. Um, and I'm just saying that, you know, I'm just saying the the appealing to young people, you know, young men and young adult, young adult men and even older men, you know, don't be afraid to talk. Don't be afraid to say to someone, you know, I'm not feeling the best today. You know, talk. Both anything else, talk. Um, like, you know, you help to see you out in a simple statue. Help to see you out. Um, and everybody wants to help you. Um, but it's just focusing on that point. Um, that you know, men don't really talk about their mental problems, mental health problems, um, or stress or worry like that. Is like I'm very different, uh, because I went through depression, I went through everything like that, and you know, I learned from it. Because if you if you boil it up, if you boil it up inside of you, you know, it's eventually you can't boil it up. Like you can't boil it up forever, um, it's gonna blow up in your face, and that's putting it very straight, um, you ha the sooner you talk about it, the sooner you can get help, and the sooner you can get better. Um, but I'm just encouraging people, you know, talk, both anything else, talk, and obviously mind um, other problems for men's health too. Like a lot of men have heart problems, um, kidneys, um, lung problems, things like that. This is focusing on everything, but generally mental health is the biggest thing to take out of it. Because, you know, that's what I see over the last few years, a lot of young men um, committing suicide, unfortunately. And, you know, we can. it's easy to solve. But you need to get people to talk. You need to get people to say, you know, I'm not feeling the best today. This happened the other day. You know, and talk about it. And hold back no detail. Just keep talking and talking and talking. Talk to and laughter is the greatest medicine of all. Um, no doubt, like antidepressants, things like that. You know, talking to somebody and saying how you feel. It's like a weight off your shoulder. Antidepressants do help a small bit. I will admit that. But at the end of the day, talking and having a laugh with your friends. You know... You, you like no money can buy it. It's simple as that. No money, or no doctor can give you that. So yeah, please be safe, everybody, and you'll be mindful of what I said there. And to any young men watching, please, as a person, as a young person, um, I'm telling you, you no know, talk, talk as much as you can. Don't be afraid to talk about how you feel, your emotions, your feelings. Don't be afraid. It doesn't show. That you're less manliness because some I remember one young person, um, in the track he said to me, you know, if I talk about my feelings and if I talk about my emotions, if I show weakness, and the word he said is weakness. It's not weakness. It's not weakness. That shows guts if you're willing to say to somebody, you know, look, I'm not feeling the best. Could you give me a hand? Could you give me a leg up? That shows determination. That shows guts, and that's show, that's something that is admired. To say to you, to say, because it's the most hardest thing to do, is to ask somebody and to say to somebody, look, I need a bit of help. No, that's the hardest thing to do, but afterwards, it's just straight sailing. Everything after that is straight sailing. So please, please be mindful of what I said, and thank you, and be safe, and bye.